Hey everybody, this is Grady Turner with Cross Automation and Robotics Division in Gastonia, North Carolina. Today I'll be showing you how easy it is to install Blue Danube Robotics Air Skin onto a universal robot for high sensitivity collaborative applications. So the Air Skin product has two layers. This first one will wrap around the robot arm and we have magnetic points here and on these pressure sensors. And after that, these pressure pads will go onto the arm and here's the second half of the pressure sensors. So first, let's install the first layer onto the robot. So now that we have the first layer installed on the robot, the next step is to apply these pressure pads. And we'll want to make sure to get really good magnetic contact between all of these magnets here and on the pressure sensors themselves so we get a nice daisy chain up the robot. So the last two steps are to connect all the pressure pads together using these cables. Now it's really important that the, from the bottom up, the outgoing of one pressure pad goes into the incoming of the next pressure pad. At the last pressure pad, you'll use this device to terminate the whole circuit. And then finally, we have our control box here. It should be pre-wired from uh, AirSkin. These will plug into the UR controller and then we'll start the system up. So after everything is plugged in and installed, uh, you should see blue lights on each of the pads. If you see steady green lights, try pressing the restart button on the connection module down here. Otherwise, consult the manual for further troubleshooting. Uh, but we have all blue lights, so you can see wherever I touch it, that pad turns red, all the other pads turn yellow to indicate that everything's being sensed. So now we have a simple two waypoint program just to show the robot sensitivity with the pads on them. Anywhere I touch these pressure pads, the robot will stop and pause and continue when I let go. So you can see how little force I'm applying to these and the robot will pause. And as soon as I let go, it continues back on. Uh, if I touch down here, you know, I can kind of push and tug on the joints and uh, the robot continues. So you can see how sensitive now the robot can be to uh, external forces. So that's how easy it is to install AirSkin on a universal robot. I uh, hope you enjoyed the film and give us a call here at Cross if you have any questions.